And part of me is kind of like, well, that just feels spiteful. But at the same time, what can you do? Especially when someone is here in this King of Pentacles energy, this is very well rooted. This person is not going to change anytime soon. And I feel like that's what you're realizing here. You're like, I I'm not gonna change this person. I can't do this for him or her. So why should I even try any longer? Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So welcome to your general daily energy reading, yes? Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Uh, also, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. I highly recommend that you, if you guys want to dive down the rabbit hole a little bit, you check out my Morning Coffee playlist. Um, which can be found here and uh, also it can be found in the playlist section of my channel. When you are diving down the rabbit hole, please make sure to pay attention to the title of the reading and not the date. So, uh, most of the readings in that playlist are dated because when I first started Morning Coffee, it was a, I, a, I was dating them, but these are timeless readings. They've always been timeless readings, yes? So don't pay attention to the date, focus more on the title of the reading that will help you understand whether or not the reading may resonate with you, yeah? Um, I did do uh, our follow-up follow uh, session in terms of um, what we were talking about last week in terms of the difference between healing and shifting your focus to maintain alignment. That also can be found up here on the top right. Um, I'm not sure how much these cards up here work. I know I did put, um, I, I know I put the cards in that session from yesterday, but then I was watching it somewhere and the card never showed up. So I don't know. I'm sorry if that's not working. I'm trying, but I have no control over it on the, on the end of YouTube, right? So, okay, whatever. But um, check that session out if you haven't already. Uh, it was a really good session. I was very happy to do it. I'm glad we all we got it out there. And I'm glad those of you who did see it so far enjoyed it so much. So if there are other things that you would like me to have some discussions, vloggy type sessions, go ahead and let me know. Um, put it in the comments. And if it resonates, if it vibes, if it feels like it's the right thing for me to touch on, then I will do so. Yes? Um, yeah, so happy Monday. I hope you guys had a good weekend. Yeah, we are halfway through April, kids, so May is quickly approaching. So yeah, that's fun. All right, so let's just get into this. Um, it was suggested last week, someone asked if I could bring the vice versa tarot back. And so I've decided that that's what we're going to do, yeah? So we're gonna be working with the vice versa tarot right now for today's session. And most likely for the rest of the week, I'm kind of feeling like that's that should be our theme for the week, yes? But we're also, we're gonna go with the flow here. So if that changes, that changes. But as of right now, it feels like that's gonna be our, our vibe for the week. And we're getting our clarity from the Los Carabello deck. And as usual, we will be crossing the Oracle Guidance Bridge once we get there, yeah? Also, guys, if you haven't done so already, um, I do have some merch available. Still haven't worked out the URL situation yet, but I'll get that done as soon as I possibly can. Um, but for now, if you would like to get your hands on maybe a morning coffee mug or maybe a t-shirt or maybe even a face mask, if that suits your fancy, your fancy uh, check the description box below. The link to my Shopify uh, page is in the description box below, but if you're going to use that link, what you're gonna have to do is copy it and paste it into a web browser because the link that Shopify gave me apparently isn't deemed safe enough. Even though I got it from Shopify, but you know what, that's neither here nor there. I mean, I have to, I, I, it's it's a scheme. It, it, I, I, it's a thing because like now I have to purchase a separate URL. 
If you'd like to get your hands on some morning coffee merch, go ahead and check the description box below. The link is there. Just like I said, copy and paste it into your web browser and it should work from there. Yeah. If you guys have any extra issues with that, let me know. But I'll, unfortunately, there's only so much I can do right now. But the merchandise is available if you'd like to, <laughs> if you'd like to get some. All right, y'all, let's get into this and see what we've got for today, yeah? Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representations of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Alrighty, y'all. Let's get into this here, yeah? Five shuffles, starting with the vice versa deck. One. Oop, how am I now? One. Two. All right, let's get into this here. What what What's going on today? What do we want to talk about? What's going on with the collective? What do we want to talk about today, y'all? Okay, okay. Uh, overall energy, we have the moon. And on the other side, we have the Hanged Man. Um, so, what it looks like is happening here, it looks like you're facing a shadow side of your life, your existence, your reality is what I actually just heard. So, it looks like there may be some shadow work that's happening right now, but it feels like there's either a great amount of difficulty or you've gotten to the point where right now you're needing to take a break from this for a second and just like separate and cool off or and maybe this is kind of connected to the energy of needing to take a break but it feels like maybe someone may be fed up um really frustrated with this situation so actually this kind of um comes back to what I was talking about in that session yesterday, um, the follow-up to the choice to heal is yours. Um, that's the title of it. Uh, in that session, I was talking about the difference between needing to face your pain, to face your trauma in order to really heal from it. Um, you really need to sit with it. You have to feel it. You have to, you know, work on facing it and getting a conscious understanding of it so that you can learn from it and work on starting to heal the situation. There are moments for that. And then there are also moments for needing to just take a break for a while, remove yourself from it, not focus on it so much in the moment so that you can work on maintaining your alignment in terms of feeling good, feeling happy, or at least doing the best that you can in terms of that, right? At some point, like if you're really, if you're working on shadow work, you can't expect yourself to do that work 100% 24-7. You know what I mean? You're going to have a moment where 
there's going to need a break in the action. You're going to need to relieve yourself of it for even just a moment so that you can work on building your strength back, building your stamina back, you know, or even really process what may have come up in that given moment, right? Like it say, you know, you're working on healing from trauma and you reached, uh, like there's another thing, another wave of it has surfaced and you're, okay, you're dealing with it. You're dealing with the wave. You're doing what you can. You're working with the emotions. You're feeling through the emotions. Okay, great. At some point, you're going to need to separate yourself from that and be like, okay, I need a break now until the next wave comes, right? It feels like somebody is fed up here. It feels like there's difficulty in terms of trying to understand your emotions or trying to go within. I'm actually really getting the getting specifically the thought that someone here may be saying to themselves, I don't want to do this inner soul searching any longer. Or at least maybe you don't want to do it right now. I do feel like there's an energy here of being so fed up and being <laughs> part of you is kind of like, I'm never, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm done with this inner work shit. Okay. Um, let me show you what you have here other than under at the on the deck. So recap, overall energy is the moon, but then you also have that with the hanged man. And regardless as to whatever else we're, I'm going to show you here that's come out here, I like the fact that we're using this side of the hanged man. Because in this side of the hanged man, it feels like you are really reaching a level of enlightenment or a change in perspective here again regardless as to what it may look like on the surface for you right now what else do we have here we have the queen of swords but her back is turned we have the hermit and we also have strength in reverse however look at this side of the strength now this is the vice versa deck right so this has two sides to the deck here oh, let me show you off right so it's the two sides you have this side here and then you have this side here okay on this side of the devil, I'm oh, sorry, on this side of strength, you have the devil. And this is representing that time or that period or that place within you in which your ego is really rampant, running rampant, is really getting, you're really getting caught up in fear. You're getting caught up in the what ifs, or maybe your ego may be really, really driving you here. However, this is in reverse. Okay. With the hermit. The Hermit is in reverse as well. However, with this side of the hanged man going on, right, in which I really feel like you're reaching a new level of enlightenment or understanding. And then with this side of the, the strength, which has the devil on it, it feels like you're really going through a purge of some strong ego battles or strong egotism or strong um, devil-like energy that may have caught kept your ego caught up, wrapped up in some bullshit or, or some tomfoolery. Um, now, with the Queen of Swords having her back turned here, I, I really don't feel like she has her back turned to herself. So if this is the energy that you are feeling right now, your back may be turned to a bunch of, it feels like your back is turned to a bunch of people around you. Maybe some people that may be trying to help you, trying to guide you. This, the, the people that I may be picking up on or perceiving of might even be your spirit guides. This might, this feels like a period where it's just like, you know what? Screw all of you. I need a break. I don't want to talk about this right now. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to my guides. I don't want to talk to nobody. I want y'all to just leave me alone. But what it also feels like is that in this energy of you just wanting to be alone, there is processing that's happening. It's not like you're sitting there completely ignoring the fact that you have something, some healing to do. No, it really kind of feels like you're maybe kind of being a little snippy to people around you and maybe even a little bit to yourself but really, in this period of you just needing to be alone, you're processing. You're processing this soul-searching energy. You're facing your shadow here. And you're gaining enlightenment through it. You're gaining a change in perspective through it, okay? Okay. I want to get one more pull from this deck. To, just to continue the story, yeah? So what else can we say here in terms of this energy piece here? Yeah. All right. In 
interesting. This is taking a little bit of a um, relationship turn. So we could be talking about a relationship here. And if we are talking about a relationship here, it kind of feels like both individuals' backs are turned. You have the Two of Cups here, in which on this side of the Two of Cups, it's bright. The sun is coming up. So in, the, in terms of this situation here, if you're dealing with a, a, either a romantic relationship I, but, or it could be a partnership, this could be a creative partnership. I did hear specifically a business partnership. If that's the case, maybe this is just like people that you work with, your colleagues, people that are in the office with you. You have the two of cups here and then there's the hanged man again. But now we're looking at the other side of the hanged man. Okay, so we're looking at the other side of the hanged man in this situation, or now at this point in the situation. And on this side of the hanged man, you have these two men that are standing there um, observing the guy that's hanging from the gallows, right? And in this deck, these two men are disciples, I guess you could say, from the Hierophant. They're the two men that you see kneeling before the Hierophant when you're at that stage in the Major Arcana, right? And at this point, these two men have gone on their journey and have reached this... Ooh, hold on. Thank <coughs> you! Hold on a second, guys. Sorry about that. That just came out of nowhere. Okay, um, so on this side of the hanged man, you have these two individuals, right? And so they've progressed on their journey, and now they've reached this point where they're standing before the hanged man, hanging at these gallows. And the significance about this is this side of the card represents that moment where you realize that, in essence, life is not one size fits all. Because these two gentlemen, like I said, they were standing, they were kneeling before the Hierophant or previously in the deck or previously in the, the, um, the progression of the Major Arcana, right? And when you're talking, when, you, when, when you're communicating with or learning from Hierophant energy, it's very much about institution, uh, uh, dogma in some cases. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Social norms, uh, religion, government agencies, um, tradition, and stuff like that. And it's very much a pigeonhole type energy. It's very much a we do thing one do things one way here, and that's just the way it's going to be. Obviously, there are some you know there are some uses for that, right? But as these gentlemen have moved forward on their path, and by the time they've gotten to the hanged man, they now start to realize that there is more than one way. There's more than one way to do things, all right? So they've come to the point where they're starting to realize that life is not one size fits all. There's more than one way to accomplish something in the world. And that's really what the, ha the hanged man represents when it comes to enlightenment, when it comes to being in stuck, we'll say, in a precarious position and allowing that position to guide you in a way that shows you a different way of seeing things, a different way of doing things, ultimately a different perspective, right? Okay, so following along with that, like I said, we do have the Two of Cups energy here, and this does feel like it's taking a partnership, maybe even a romantic um, turn. You could be dealing with a marriage. So we could be dealing with like a, either a long-term relationship or maybe even a marriage that doesn't seem to be working out right now or maybe hasn't been for the longest time. I did just hear that. Now, the next stack of cards that has come out here, you have Judgment with the King of Pentacles. His back is turned as well. You have the devil now, but the devil's back is turned. And then you have the two of swords. There's a lot of energies here of having your back turned. And if this is a romantic relationship, if this is, is like a romantic partnership or maybe even a marriage, it feels like both of your backs are turned right now. Um, but this person, represented by the king of pentacles... His back is turned, and I feel like this individual here 
is staying wrapped up in the devil energy and he and this person really is in denial now this person is facing the moon as well both of you are kind of facing the moon here but i feel like there's one person that's that's receiving the downloads which is funny because i'm getting a ringing in my right ear right now i'm sorry my not my right ear my left ear which is the feminine side but anyway take that as it resonates if it resonates for you then then take it as as it place it in your life as it fits but it feels like one person here is being guided to rise above this situation and with judgment and on this side of the judgment you have the three individuals that are standing there fully resurrected with the sun shining on them and then there's like this this hawk right um it, within the sun the hawk to me is representing see a, seeing a higher perspective whereas on this side you have the angel the, the, the traditional view where the angel is appearing to them and these people are this is that moment that people start to wake up or start to rise above and here is that moment when you have reached that level of having risen above okay fully resurrected i feel like there's i just heard seeing the light at the end of the tunnel so there may, there is energies here of both parties maybe being in denial or at least at least having their backs turned to each other one person is more in denial than the other and that person is staying wrapped up in some sort of devil energy some sort of codependency or maybe even some sort of toxicity and addiction could be a husband king of pentacles but then you have this queen of swords here could who could represent the divorcee and what you could be facing here with this hermit in reverse and strength in reverse is that you could have come to the point where it's like there's no amount of trying, there's no amount of struggling that's going to get this situation to change. And so ultimately it's gotten you to the point where you're just ultimately just really just turning your back to it and not wanting to see any, see any more, not wanting to go any further that type of energy <clears throat> the high the, the the hanged man here may be the realization that um you may need to just go your own way i think I, I kind of feel like there's an energy here of um, not wanting to struggle or fight against it because there is ultimately, and I feel like this is more on one side than the other, but I feel like ultimately there is an understanding that, you know what, you're right. There are more than way, one way to do things, or there is more than one way to do things. My word or my opinion, my thought on it doesn't have to be the only thing, just like yours doesn't have to be the only thing. So it feels like even... Now there's an energy of not even wanting to fight any longer. It not really even being an ego battle, at least on one side of the equation. I feel like that's coming from this Queen of Swords energy. Like not even wanting to have the ego battle anymore. It literally feels like an energy of frustration in terms of like, you know what? That's fine. If that's the way you want to do it, then go ahead and fucking do it. I'm going somewhere else or I'm doing something else because I don't have to do it this way. I don't like doing it this way. I don't want to do it this way. I'm not going to do it this way. Just like you're refusing, I'm going to refuse to. And part of me is kind of like, well, that, that just feels spiteful. But at the same time, what can you do? Especially when someone is here in this King of Pentacles energy. This is very well-rooted. This person is not going to change anytime soon. And they're definitely not going to change by any effort of your own, right? And I feel like that's what you're realizing here. You're like, I I'm not going to change this person. I can't do this for him or her. So why should I even try any longer? All right. Yeah. Uh, let's get some clarity here. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. 
Ooh. Four of Pentacles wants to show itself. Um, the Four of Pentacles feels like a house and a home. I literally just heard letting go of a house and a home. Not wanting to fight for it any, any longer. Not wanting to struggle for... Uh, not wanting to struggle in terms of like keeping up appearance or keeping up with the Joneses any longer. All right, let's start clarifying. We're going to start with the Queen of Swords, the Hermit, and, sh and Strength. But the Hermit and Strength are in reverse. Queen of Swords is upright, yeah? What's going on on this side of the equation, please? Spirit, a little bit of clarity, please. What can I help? Page of Wands. Um, all right, check it out. Check it out. Ooh, boy. Temperance is at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to be honest, you guys. There's something... Yup. Okay, there's something a little scary about this, about this energy. Not to say that um, if you're in this Queen of Swords energy, you're volatile or you are... You are... Um, um, in an energy of doing anything really extreme or destructive. But the level of change in the person that is represented by the Queen of Swords could be scary to someone like this King of Pentacles here or someone that is not used to this level of being done, at least from coming from this person. You have the Page of Wands here. All right. The Page of Wands was the first one that came out. And that to me is screaming a massive change in the way that this person is approaching the situation. To me, the Page of Wands is a new creative uh, endeavor, a messenger, but it's also um, a representation of changing the way you approach a situation or changing the way you identify in this situation. Espe like, I, especially now, especially with this Hermit energy here that's also come out, because I do see the Page of Wands, in some situations, I see the Page of Wands as like a minor arcana version of the Hanged Man. And then, I'm sorry, not the Hanged Man, of the Hermit. And in this situation, this is definitely representing someone that has gone through an internal shift and now is representing that or bringing that out to, to see on the surface. Like, it's the, the, the change has happened within them internally and now they are fully living it externally like if they're fully expressing it and this person is absolutely done with this situation is not trying to fight for it or against it any longer knight of swords in reverse to the ten of swords this person has every intention of walking away from this temperance is at the bottom of the deck oh shit you guys so temperance is at the bottom of the deck right and temperance is and, and to be honest this is the energy, this is the card that's really giving me this, like, whoa, the level of change in this person is fucking scary. Because temperance here is representing patience, peace, balance. I'm, I'm even hearing things like internal harmony. And, like, the level of nonchalant, like, no fucks given here is, <laughs> is pretty epic, okay? Underneath, underneath Temperance is the Fool with the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands to the Eight of Wands to the Ten of Pentacles to the Star, yet to the Three of Swords, to the Nine of Cups. This person is just going to be happy. The lesson has been learned here. Healing and wish fulfillment is on the way, okay? The doors are wide open because this person is so fucking confident in themselves. They don't give a shit what you have to say about it. They are inspired, Ace of Wands, and they're about to take a leap of faith. And quite frankly, it feels like they feel comfortable enough. This person feels comfortable enough within themselves to take this leap of faith and not give a flying fuck what anybody else has to say about it. Because they are officially done here. <laughs> Mm -mm. All right. So let's look at the other side of the equation. We have judgment, 
two of swords, the devil, and the king of pentacles. Now, the other thing that I want to say about the devil here, with the devil having its back turned, this often represents being able to get away from some sort of devilish activity or some sort of codependency. Even, and, and it's so trivial to the point that it's because the devil's back is turned, so technically he wouldn't be able to see you slip out, right? All right, so let's clarify. What's going on with this side of the equation then? This person doesn't want to talk. This person or this side of the equation has not been communicating, or at least has not been communicating effectively. Has, in some cases, I feel like this person may have been sabotaging the situation and purposefully not communicating and just standing their ground and just like giving you the very... In hopes that one day you'll just give up and either give up, tire... Uh, uh, and I'm not going to, you know, either they're, either they're wanting you to just give up the fight and settle in, or you'll just leave. But I'm not sure they want you to leave. I feel like they would rather you just tire yourself out and be like, you know what, I'm not fighting for this any longer. Let's just continue. And basically they get their way. But I think that's backfiring. And it may be that they were aware of the either you're just going to stop and this is not going to be an issue anymore or you're going to leave. You're going to end the situation. But I'm not sure they were counting on the fact that you would. I think they were counting more on the fact that you would just tire out and give up, not that you would become empowered and leave. King of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. And... Wow. To clarify this, we have the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and Judgment. I'm not, I'm sorry, not Judgment, Justice. This is not their energy. Uh, what I want to say is insight into their energy or getting into there is off limits. And it's not because it's not for any other reason other than the fact that whomever is in this Queen of Swords energy is well aware that whatever moves they're trying to make right now are completely 100% justified. Um, I'm hearing things like at this point, ain't nothing but ain't nothing to it but to do it. You know what's going on here. You know what's right here, and this could and 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 someone is well aware, or it's understood at least on a general level that. Somebody being done, somebody moving on is well 100% justified because of this King of Wands energy. Because now the King of Wands is representing the selfishness of the other person. And it really kind of feels like a situation here in which someone is like, all right, I see your selfish, egotistical, self-centered bullshit and I raised you some shit of my own. Now what you gonna do? Okay. I wanna get I wanna get one more closing pull 
from the Tarot to get some advice here, some closing message on how to handle what to expect, what's to come next, something like that. And then we'll get our Oracle guidance. So what's the closing message here for this reading? Nine of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. The High Priestess, Death, the Five of Wands, and the Page of Cups. Some of you may not understand right now, may not fully, even though you may be in this Queen of Swords energy with your back turned, like ready to just up and leave, um, some of you still may not fully recognize or understand why this is happening or why you're being guided to approach this the way that you are right now or to move in the direction that you're potentially going to be moving in. There is an unknown element to this. There's a higher awareness. There's still some mystery around this, but you're being guided to trust your intuition here because there's a transformation that needs to happen, death. And you can sit here and argue and argue about it all you want, but ultimately, the main message that I'm getting from this is take your love and compassion elsewhere. Page of Cups. There's no need to struggle against this any longer. Someone is really persevering to hold on to this, to keep working on it. But that's just going to keep the cycle going. It's really not going to change anything. I really feel like this message here is for someone, what you're going through right now, it's trying to get you to make a decision for yourself. The lovers to the three of wands. What is really what's best for you? What is going to continue on your path? Or where do you see yourself on your path moving forward? For some of you, you're questioning whether or not this individual or this relationship will be a part of your path or should it, whether it should or should not be a part of your path any longer. But that's a decision only you can make. And in order to really make that decision for yourself, you really need to speak to or communicate with your higher self about it. High Priestess. And in many cases, the High Priestess or your higher self is already communicating with you. You know exactly what it is you need to do here is what I just heard. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance. All right. I'm being called to Beyond Lemuria. So that's what we're going to go with today. Five shuffles. One. Oop, try that again. One. Two. Three. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance here. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. We have card number 45. Interesting. Star Seed Elemental.
Children as teachers, fun, lightheartedness, joy, laughter, newly incarnated souls, the child within, maintaining an inquisitive perspective, wonder, and imagination. Being with children can be a great way to recapture wonder, innocence, unapologetic truth, and wisdom. Their realities are not yet muddied by, sh by shoulds or cannots, and their imaginations are often so wild and creative that they can be our biggest inspirers. Furthermore, as their incarnation from pure spirit is more recent, they are still, a well, uh, still aware of energy and have a natural psychic awareness. Sometimes adulting can be too serious. When this happens, bringing a childlike, light-hearted sense of play to your perspective can be the most productive way to rebalance. Facing challenging circumstances with inquisitiveness can bring joy to whatever we are accomplishing. Imagine stepping into a child's shoes and seeing how they perceive the world. If you have a problem, consider how a child might solve it. Think back to when you were little and, when, and what you loved to do. Remember how the world felt around you and how magical and mysterious things may have been. What has changed? What would you tell the seven-year-old you? The little people of today will be the inventors, creators, and leaders of tomorrow. How, how can we help nourish their big souls to ready them for an optimal journey through life? Right now, powerful souls are incarnating on Earth to help with the progression of this planet. All children are equally special, but some may have different or unique needs due to their more sensitive and energetic natures. The ways children were brought up in previous generations might not, may not be the best options for today. Humans are evolving, and children can be our wisest teachers. May we listen to them with our hearts and let their, way, let their ways unveil fresh new eyes so we may see a whole new world. The divinatory meaning here says, bring a sense of play, lightness, or spontaneity to your life. Be inspired by children or your inner child. You are encouraged to add inquisitiveness, fun, and laughter to your reality. This card may signify the presence of a child in your life. Spending time with children will help you experience the world from a fresh perspective and see them as the inspiring teachers that they are. Yeah, Page of Cups. Your inner child. Back to childlike wonder and all that. Yes. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yep. Take care. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>